Hi, I'm Frederick and welcome to another Maya to Blender tip video. And today it's all about polygons and filling up gaps. Now, uh, when I used Maya, there was this nice tool called Append to Polygon. And when you selected the edges, it kind of filled up the space and it followed a nice loop along the edges. And I kind of missed that tool when I moved over to Blender. Uh, so I had to figure out the alternative way. Now, when you watch Blender tutorials, they always say, okay, press F to fill up the gap. When you're using the industry standard interface like I do, F does a completely different thing. And it actually focuses on your object. For example, if I add uh, another cube here and uh, I press F, I focus on that object. And when I go press F again, I focus on that object. So it's really convenient, especially if you're working with vertices as well. If you select the couple, you press F, you zoom in on that particular area uh, when you model. So for me, that is a no-go for changing that shortcut key. I'm, it's in my fingers, I'm gonna keep it that way. All right, let's get rid of this cube. Okay, so let's figure this out and use the Blender built-in tools to do this. Okay, so select this cube, and now we're first going to delete some faces so we can actually fill up the gaps. Um, so I got rid of these faces. And the first thing I always thought was, I need to use the poly build tool. So I clicked that one, and I said like, okay, there's an edge here I can select, I can drag it, and then, okay. Uh, but then, oh, wait a minute, that doesn't work at all. It doesn't f connect up to these vertices, which is kind of annoying, okay. Um, so there has to be another way, right? Now, the good part is if you use the snap tools and you activate that one, and let's go back for a minute, then you can actually snap it together and then, aha, there you go, that's much better, right? But actually it's not as good as I hoped it would be because if you grab one of those vertices, you see that those vertices are not connected. So you actually created a polygon, but it's a it's a hole. And uh, especially in models, you're going to end up with problems later. So, okay, that wasn't a good way to do this. I've kind of figured that if you use the auto merge, that if you do this, then it gives us the result we want. So if I connect this, okay, that's good, right? So that is a way of doing things. But the poly build tool is not always very convenient. Now, if I select, for example, multiple edges, it's, you see it kind of sticks to an edge. So yeah, it might be handy for certain bits and I probably haven't figured out the proper way of using this tool yet, but I like, kind of like to do it different now. So there's this tool which uses the F key for the Blender users. When I select four vertices like this, um, I can actually use the new edge and face from vertices tool and it's in the menu of vertex and you can find it here and if you would look into the blender uh, shortcut keys you're going to see that there's an f behind here so basically uh, it's assigned to this tool so if you click that there you go you get a nicely filled up gap now there's more ways of using this now i've selected vertices but the quicker way of using this is basically go to edges and then just select the edges and it's not in the edge menu but if you do that here it kind of works too now that is really handy um, when in other situations for example uh, when you create a cylinder and i've i've created one with a uh, with five sides and um, so when i delete this face if i want to fill it back up you see if, you, if i use this polygon thing to it's i don't know it just doesn't work for me I pro i'm probably using it wrong so the good thing is if i just select these sides there you go and we use this fantastic tool then there you go we have it filled up again so that's uh, a really great tool but it's kind of hidden uh, especially if you're used to the industry standard shortcut keys uh, where the f is something completely different okay that's it for today if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up please subscribe as well it will help to grow this channel 
I recently got to 100 subscribers and I'm really pleased about that. Yeah, I hope to see you next time. Bye bye. Thank you.